Hello everyone, my name is Danny, and this review is going to be for the movie called The Great Alaskan Race. This is a 2019 film, I did just see it in theater today. It's rated PG, and it runs an hour and 27 minutes. It feels longer, but it's kind of short. This is directed and uh, by Brian Presley, and it stars him, and it introduces his daughter, I think it's his daughter, and starring Treat Williams also. And Brian Presley, Treat Williams, and I think it's Haley Presley, something like that. The description. In the Great Alaskan Race, a diphtheria outbreak endangers the lives of children in a remote village in Alaska. With his own daughter's life on the line, champion musher Leonard Seppala, sorry, trying to get to the end of the thing here. Seppala volunteers to lead a team of sled dogs to transport life-saving medicine across dangerous terrain in the middle of winter. Facing harsh conditions, including a blizzard, Seppala and his dog, Togo, face possible death to travel the most treacherous part of the journey, covering 400 of the nearly 700 miles. The film is based on the true story of Alaska's Great Serum Run of 1925. This is The Great Alaskan Race. Well, I'll tell you what. I wasn't planning on watching this movie, but since it was announced like a day ago that it was going to be in theaters, and I've barely seen any advertisement about this, I was like, heck yes, I want to see a dog movie. So I went and saw this instead of the other choice or the other choices that were out. Because I wanted to see this because A, it's based on a true story. B, it's about dogs and I want to see every dog movie ever, ever made. And C, it just sounds really cool. You know, I mean, it's a part of history. I think I sort of possibly might have heard one time in history class when I wasn't zoning out. But um, I think this is loosely based off of Balto. And if you haven't seen those animated movies, they're more educational than anything, but they are really good movies. <clears throat> but they've been turned into, you know, kind of a funny, you know, haha -ha kind of kids animated movie. And uh, Balto was a real dog. He has a monument about him, and uh, he's a big part of history, whatever his history was. And I think that history might have made this Jojo dog in this movie into Balto. You know, because sometimes legends just don't come off as their name. You know, you have to change their name to be historic. You know, it has to be Balto, not Jojo, you know. So, that's my thought. I don't know if I'm right on that, but maybe it might give you something to research. It might interest you in watching this movie a little bit. But, moving on from that, this Brian Presley... Uh, he directs in it. He stars in it. He's a very good person. He's a very good actor. The movie is very amazing. Well done. So, I don't know where he came from, but this movie is really awesome. So, do need to give him props on everything that he did incorporating this movie. Um, I think he could have dealt with a little bit more of the issues of the movie. Uh, it kind of has one focus, and that's this huge historical focus that, uh, you know, there's this disease going around that could kill everybody. And that's a very big focus. It's very important. I'm not trying to take anything away from that. But there's stuff going on like him being Native American and in their customs. Uh, they uh, sort of address it, but they don't dive into it. And, uh, you know, uh, maybe finding a new partner. It gets addressed. But it doesn't dive into it. Um, the other town folk. You know, we don't get to know any of their stories. We don't get to know who they are. They're just there. And then they ha uh, play a vital role in this crisis. And, uh, you know, there's some other people that get thrown in. And they really serve no purpose. You know, so, I mean, like, we could almost cut that part out. But they had it in there. It feels awkward. You know, it's fine. Whatever. But... You know, it's not a complete movie, 
But it is a very good movie. So that's my critique on that. There's not that many actors in here. Uh, it is made to feel like an old time movie. It's set in 1925. It feels like it. It feels like you're watching a movie made in 1925. Uh, the filming, uh, the picture, sometimes it's fuzzy. The clothes are really, really old. I don't know if anybody wore that, you know, ever. Uh, the kind of clothes that they have in this movie. Um, just a lot of little nitpicky stuff. You know, I mean, that's I've, I've mentioned a few. I think there's probably some more. But it feels like an old movie. It's not interesting the whole time. It's just what it has in it is interesting. So, um, the great part of this in the Great Alaskan Race is the fact that you know, these people were sick. You know, this uh, attempt to save them is very realistic for the times. I'm, I'm pretty sure they took everything from the situation of what it was. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's an amazing thought about what is actually happening in front of you for about an hour. And um, I don't know if I understand all of it because it's just kind of a blur like, you know somebody's coming from there, and you know somebody's coming from there, and they're trying to get medicine. But it does, it's so fuzzy, it's so blurry with the blizzard, um, it's hard to really wrap your mind around what they're really going through. And, um, you know, I just, I don't know how to describe it without you wanting to see it, but, you know, I mean, think about... Shadow and Chance and Sassy. Think about other great adventure movies, you know, that, you know, go across an area. And it's just unimaginable, the distance, you know. Um, it's always compelling, but you have to handle it in segments and maybe have them have little adventures along the way. Otherwise, it's hard to keep the crowd's attention, you know, and it's hard to call yourself a great movie if you don't have that element in there to keep people, you know, interested along the way, have little things happen, they kind of keep going back and forth between the two locations of, you know, the journey and the town and kind of checking in with the town. But that doesn't really do much for me. It didn't do much for me while I was watching it. And um, I think that it just could have used more, you know, more compelling stuff, more, you know, storyline for the characters, just more. And so this is a very nice movie. It's a very good attempt at a movie. Uh, the blizzard, the Alaskan landscape, everything is amazing. You know, they have this church that they go to a couple times in the movie. It's a nice church. It's a nice setting. You know, it's a nice town. And uh, so I don't have anything really wrong, wrong with this movie. You know, nothing really bad, but just a couple nitpicky things, and I could have used more, and I could have used it being more compelling. But the journey is amazing. Everybody, try and give this movie a chance. If you're not going to go out in theaters to watch it, try and put it on your list to watch it when it hits Redbox and when, when it hits Netflix and all that stuff. Um, it's a really amazing story. It's a part of our history. Alaska is a really great state that's done a lot in its history. And this is one of their biggest things of their history, where they had a lot of people die. And it's really important to at least know about this. So try and give this movie a watch sometime in your life. Um, I'm going to give it a B-, minus just because of the feel of the movie. And I can't explain it unless you've seen it. So you can't understand unless you've seen it. A B minus for the Great Alaskan Race. Thanks a lot, guys. My name is Danny. If you like this or any of my other videos, try and give some of them a watch. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. I'm getting really close to a trademark uh, number of uh, reviews here on YouTube. And I'm kind of slowing down with my new schedule and a new job and everything. But I really appreciate everybody watching. I don't know how many views this will get. I don't know how many views any video will get. But I've had some really amazing comments. I've had some really amazing views view numbers uh, for certain videos. So um, I just want to thank you. Um, I do use A-List at AMC. If you don't have that, if you've never heard of it, if you like going to movies every week, it's totally worth it. Um, I've been going, I've been able to 
go to this movie and um, Countdown and Zombieland within the last week, I didn't pay anything. You know, I mean, I I, I pay for the A list and that's it. So I can go to IMAX. I can go to Dolby. It's just my suggestion. If you are a movie watcher and you go to the theater a lot, get the A list. Go with AMC. It's really one of the best things out there. So it's better than spending more than five or ten dollars every time you go. You know, spend twenty dollars for the month. There you go. Um, really try and give this movie a watch. Dive into the history. Give Alaska a look up. Look at this guy that um, you know that Presley plays. Um, try and you know look up the I Did Rod race. Do some kind of research. Try and honor this movie. It really is an amazing watch. So. Thanks for watching my video. Enjoy your movies, guys. Thanks.